Welcome back guys, and ta-da! We are going to be doing something different than normally. What I normally do, this is not my single player world, however I did make this smeltery system in a single player world, and so I'm going to recreate it for you today in uh, a creative world. So, let's get to it. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create this structure I have right here. So, this structure requires 16. Uh, I'm doing a super duper version. You can do any number in this row. Preferably uh, something that's divisible by 4. So you could have like 4, you could have 8, you could have 12, or you could have 16. That just makes fuel distribution easier, especially when you're working with stacks of stuff because everything can be divided by 4 or 8. Um, so right here I have 16, which I think is like the biggest I would ever want to try. Um, because just because of how fast hoppers can output items, I think this is about the max you would ever want to do. Um, so I've got 16 on either side, which gives you a total of 32 things. This is, this would be really expensive in single player in survival. Um, now obviously where these blocks are, this is where your furnaces would go. So these hoppers should be connected to a furnace. It's just easier to place them on blocks that aren't furnaces, and that'll probably be the last thing I do. Just in case you drop blocks into the hoppers, they're not going to be put into the furnace, and then you have to meticulously go through every furnace and pick out the blocks. It's just easier to work with full blocks. So what you're going to do to get started is you want to start placing your powered rails on the tops of the hoppers. Now you're essentially going to be making two rings on the hopper, on top of the hoppers that will have uh, the minecart chest go a circle around, right? So it will go around this ring and it will continue to distribute items through the hoppers and it does them evenly. So a powered rail will push a minecart fast enough that it will drop one item in every single hopper, which is what we want. Then you are going to have a system once the hoppers actually I can do it here once the hopper or the minecart rather makes its way around it will hit a trigger and this trigger will check with a comparator whether or not the cart has items in it so let's just do this on the other side and we only need the detector rail on one of the sides so every lap it checks, do you have any items in it? If it does, it's going to continue on its way and continue to do the loop. If not, it's going to come back here to its resting place. And so that can be basically wherever you want to have your super smelter set up. The control panel, if you will. So, in order to do this, you are going to want to build this contraption on each of the rings. So you're going to start with a detector rail that is two blocks away from the junction. Then what you want to do is you want to power this junction just to check. See, like, since I powered it and unpowered it, it switched directions. So this direction is its natural uh, location, which is actually what we want because we want it to be like if this is if the cart is empty and there is and the the comparator rather it detects nothing so if this thing detects nothing it's just going to stay with what it has right nothing is going to update and you're just going to go off down here but if there is something changed if this comparator detects something we are going to run the redstone like this we're going to run it into a block and then into a repeater and then some redstone that will just point to this. So if the hopper receives a signal and we can simulate that by putting a torch here, then this will change and you will go back around because there are still things in the hopper. Now a two wide gap or two blocks away from the junction is plenty enough for this to update. That is the timing that you want. So this is one done. This one is done, we just need to power the hoppers, and you can do that easily, or the powered rails rather, you can do that easily by putting this redstone like this in the middle, 
Uh, that was not the middle. I am a spoon. It doesn't matter how many of these we do. So, whatever. Just to get the... Oh, wait, really? Now this is odd. Let's try this. Let's try replacing it now. Okay, now it's working. That's weird. You just have to unpower it and power it again. Interesting. Anyway. So this has got all of the rails powered now. I'm going to take a sip of water. My voice is getting a little horsey. Ah, okay. So, this rail is all set up. Let's grab a chest minecart. And a sticker right here to get the cycle started. That guy is going the wrong way. We want it to go this way. But let's put some items in there. Let's put maybe one, two... Let's put a stack of items. Okay, and send it along. So it's going to distribute them around. And see, it still had items in it, so it went around again until it has no items in it, which should be this next trip. It should be out of items. And then it will just go straight down here. And if we had this powered, it would make it all the way down to the beginning. Good stuff. And now I realize I have to clear out all the hoppers because stone won't smelt. I derped. I derped real bad. Uh, I'm gonna get cracking on this and I'll be right back one sec. Okay, I did it. <laughs> that took forever. Anyway, now let's get cracking on the second one. Now this one, because of its location, is going to have to be built a little differently. Uh, possibly. It always depends on which direction your thing is facing. So if it is facing like east to west, perhaps, it will, um, oh shoot, no matter, no matter, just move it to this side, that's fine. Um, it depends if it's going east to west, if it's going the, a different direction, because of the way carts work, this intersection, this junction might be flipped, so it might choose to stick to this one instead, in which case you will just have to, instead of putting a repeater here, you'll put a torch here, that's literally all you have to do. Just figure out which direction it needs to go. Uh, okay, now let's continue this here. And now this happens. This is an issue. So, because there is a rail up here, this block will always choose to turn into this. It's a weird bug that happens. It's always been a problem with Minecraft. But it, easy simple fix is just to, is to put a powered rail here that worked last time why is that not working this time hello well normally that works uh, excuse me maybe putting a block here do these both need to be powered no it's just choosing not to work oh boy Oh boy, this worked last time for me. <laughs> this worked when I was testing it out. Uh, I'll figure it out. One second, one second, one second. Okay, so the solution to this problem is to put down the powered rail, or to break this rail first, then put down this rail, and then replace this rail. Super funky. I hope Minecraft will fix this bug eventually, but uh, as of now, you gotta work around it. So, as you saw, I just powered this one underneath it doesn't matter where you power it you could even put a lever on it uh, but I just it's powered now so now you want to do the same thing on the other side connect this guy up hopefully it doesn't do that same bug it did will this work or will I have to do yeah so you just break this place this re replace this and then it's fixed odd funky business with the rails but just work around it it's not too bad now we want a detector here which means our junction is gonna go right here oh no let's do it on the other side you dummy because that's what we did on the other one oh put the rail oh wait a second this needs to be the detector right here Okay, detectors also won't curve in, which is handy. They're the same as the powered rails. So put a detector right here, 
and then we are going to do the same thing business with a comparator except our junction is going to be right here so this is going to be the junction now we're going to have to do a similar business is this going to place in nope yeah you just got to break that and replace it and then we're good and then we can do our powered rails right here just to give it a boost off the track well actually no we're going to want this guy it can make it this far and then we can put powered rails right here this is what we'll do okay so now you have your second ring in for the coal we want to power that as well putting torches in the same location and if you're wondering if this will lock the hoppers it will not we're good it's no problemo and we can power this one okay you want to you do want to be careful how you power these that are on the hoppers because you don't want to lock the hoppers so maybe we put it right here yeah this is fine or is this going to lock this is going to lock this hopper so like i said you want to be very careful on how you power this actually how do i power this oh boy <laughs> uh let me think about this and i'll come right back with you Okay, so I figured it out. An easy way to power these rails is just to get a block of redstone and place it on top of it. That won't lock these hoppers and it will power this, and the minecart, since there's no one in it, can just pass right through with no problemo at all. So, easy fix. Just block of redstone. Okay, whew. Dodged a bullet there, and that doesn't, that also does not lock these hoppers, so no issues. And then I think this will actually power this rail as well. Yeah. So we don't need that even. Awesome, awesome. Figuring stuff out. And then let's do another block of redstone here, and we can get rid of these torches as well. Cool, that's even more efficient. Happy answer, happy mistake, happy answer. I love it. Okay, so now let's get our second line all fixed up with this comparator over here. So this junction is going to be here. Again, we want to power it real quick to make sure we know what default is. The default is going to be this way. So this one we actually want to flip. And remember how I told you to do that? This shouldn't interfere. Nope, it won't. Okay, so we're going to do that by putting this torch here. And then we're going to run some redstone underneath it. Doop, doop. And then we've got it flipped. Now this one has reverted back, so we're going to have to do powered rail here. And then replace this doop, like that. And we should be good. And maybe, oh, uh, who? How are we gonna power this? Oh, duh. We can just put this right here. Put a torch underneath it, just to power that rail so it doesn't stop the cart. Easy. Okay. Now we've got it all done. Let's test the second track to make sure it does its job. Uh, so we're gonna do that by putting a rail, a cart on it, and this one is gonna have to roll the other way. And we want to get a cart put that on there which way do we want it to go we want it to go this way okay and now this is going to be our coal cart let's put coal in there so it doesn't mess anything up and so i don't have to pull the stuff out search for it coal and let's get a stack and put it in there all right push it along yep now it's going to continue to circle around until it is done which should be one more trip around and now it's going to come right back. Oh, cool. Okay, cool beans. Now, another thing we want to make sure of is that when we send it down the track, it's going to rotate the right way. So when I send this guy down the track, it's going to go this way, which is correct, which is awesome. And when I send this guy down the rail, he's going to go this way, which is correct as well. So that's awesome. Okay, cool, cool. I, for some reason, I was thinking that wasn't going to work, <laughs> but it did. So all good. All good in the hood. All right, um, now we want to start putting in our rails and getting these carts to where we want them. Now, this is up to you, however you want it in your world. Um, I think they should be kind of close together, right? <clears throat> That's a good deal. You also want to leave space in the middle for your collection, which is the next bit of this. Uh, so for right now, let's put... I want four blocks of space. No, I want two. Two is fine two is good so this will leave two blocks of space in between for our carts to go and then our carts are gonna hit 
this unpowered rail right here. And this is how you want the launching stations to be. You want to have one unpowered powered rail and then a regular rail running into a block. And then on those blocks, just slap a button. And this is going to be our launch system. So the minecart's resting place should be right here on this unpowered rail. Then if we send them off, we can just send them off by just pushing this button. And that will send it around the track, and then it will do a lap, and it will check to see if there's anything in there. There isn't now, so it'll just send it right back to its resting spot. Beautiful. Now, let's worry about our collection system. So that's going to go under these hoppers. If you are smart, you would have built this one block up, but it really and truly does not matter. Um, we're going to have this under the hopper, or under the furnace rather, we're going to put hoppers under the furnace. This torch cannot be here, because that'll lock the hopper, so let's put that guy, let's put a redstone block. What are you doing? What are you doing? Redstone block, there you are. Okay, let's put that right here. Cool. I ruined it. <laughs> there we go. And let's continue to mine out the bottom side of the furnaces. Okay. We've got the same problem over here. So let's fix that real quick. Can't have a torch right next to a hopper. And we can put it right here, correct? Yeah, we can. This is fine. Okay. Or is it? No, 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 it's not. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Okay. How are we going to power this now? Problem solving. We are going to power this with a lever. Can we do this? And then if this goes away, this will not be powered anymore. Perfect. That works. <laughs> you know, messing around with stuff is always... It's always part of the job in this red stony bits. But we just want to make sure again that you're not locking any hoppers. So mine out again the bottom. Now we are going to put hoppers here, but we want to be, for this, we want to be careful of direction. Now for each side, we are going to want it put into a, shoot, into a dropper. Boop. We want to have these going into a dropper. So let's put a dropper here, facing down, and facing down. This is where we want our droppers. And then we want all of our hoppers to go right here, under, under the furnaces. Okay, and that's going to go all the way around, and we want these to all be connected. So we want it to be one big train all the way back to this hopper. And then we want to do the same thing, our dropper, and we want to do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to make another chain of hoppers going into that dropper. Okay. Then, on these droppers, we are going to want to build two of these dropping systems. Actually, let's move them down a block. So let's have these droppers down here and the hoppers going into them like this. Which side are we on? We're on this side, so we're gonna want this to, we want the droppers to face this way. Perfect. And then this is going to be our path Hopefully this leads to the middle if I did everything right. Did I? I did not. Um, that's okay, we can figure this out easily. But let's finish our business over here. So, for these droppers, we are going to want two of these systems to spit out the items. Oh, oh, poop. Two of these systems to spit out the items. We can build them on these two sides. So, the way these work, you're going to need a comparator. Let's pick that up. You're going to want a repeater, and you're going to want redstone. That's all you need. 
So just put a comparator sticking out of, let's say, this one. We are going to put a repeater right after it. Then we are going to run redstone around this side, just redstone. And then on this side, we are going to have a repeater running into a full block. Important that this block is a full block here. Then we are going to do the same thing on the other side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For this one, we're going to have a comparator. What? I cannot reach that. I'm going to have to break you real quick. I'll replace you, I promise. A comparator coming out here. This, put that hopper back. A repeater facing this way. And redstone going into... Oh, we don't want that to link up, so let's run it the other way. Hmm. Do we even need two of these, I think? No. Nope. Do we? If we flip this one, duh, we don't. So for this, we are just going to put that into this and like that. This is how we'll do it now. So just when one, one of these has stuff in it, it's going to spit out both of them. Perfect. Okay. So what is it going to be spitting out into? For that, you can have it spit out into a water water trail that runs all the way back to where you want your double chest to go. Which will be for us down here. I'm going to create this real quick and come right back with you and show you what it looks like. All right, I finished with the water stream. So all you're going to have is you're going to have it just drop it into water. And this water is on top of ice, actually, so it goes a little faster. And then that's going to push it into, if I can do this without messing anything up, it's going to push it into this ice right here. Right? See, it's all coming down here. And then it's going to go to the edge, and it's going to be squared up against this edge. And then I have water running this way into these hoppers. So it's going to run into two hoppers. And you're going to actually be getting so many items that one hopper is not going to be able to pick it up. So you've got two to actually be able to pick up all the items without getting overflowed. So that's how that works. Now your system's complete. All that's left to do now is replace all of these blocks with furnaces and you'll be done. So let me do that and get back right to you. All right, the furnaces are all in. This is the moment of truth as they say. Let's grab some ore. Let's grab some diamond ore, roll in, in those diamonds, and some coal, and let's get these minecarts going. So this is the coal fuel line, and this is the ore line. So let's send coal first, make sure everything's working nicely. Looks like it is. He's going along, distributing that coal, and hopefully he'll keep going. Yep, he will. All right, we did that one right. Now let's get our ores going and start smelting stuff up. So you see our furnaces start cooking now, which is exactly what we want to see. And once those are done, which should be in a, a tiny little bit. You're going to spit it out. Oh, there they go. There they go. And they're off. Wait a second. I feel like this torch should not be here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like one of our lines is locked up. Is it? This torch doesn't even need to be here. It's not powering anything. Oh, how do I get to it, though? How do I get to it is the problem. Oh, thanks for all the diamonds. We don't need you. Go away. Okay. And our diamonds are flowing like butter. Oh my goodness, look at how fast this thing is smelting these. Already. Already we're getting a stack of them. And they're just gonna keep coming. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, so this thing is ridiculously fast. Let's put more coal into it, and let's get some more stuff going and cooking. Let's get some more diamonds. Or, oh my goodness, this thing's amazing. Okay, I just put four stacks of diamonds in there. Let's see how long it takes that to cook four stacks of diamonds starting now we're gonna see I'm not timing this with anything I should have had a timer ready but let's just let's just see how long this takes so it started spitting out the items already 
and you can just see how fast these things are coming in my goodness this thing is going so fast this is 1632 furnaces going at a time 32 this is ridiculously crazy and they just keep coming keep coming we've already got one stack already going on to the next stack this is ridiculous there's just no quitting it I actually think it's it it's not actually able to process these fast enough I think they're getting backed up somewhere maybe oh shoot maybe in this hopper yeah see this hopper is getting backed up even now if this ever did actually completely fill up it would start overflowing into this hopper so you know it won't actually ever back up completely it you know it can only just output as fast as this one hopper can can go and you can always just of course grab these and throw these in here but look at this we're almost already done it's almost done this is so ridiculously fast so if you want a super fast auto smelter this is how you do it and it's pretty pretty concealable too like like you have this whole room I'm using diamond ore as the wall because that's the block that's in my inventory right now okay um, but as you can see it's pretty concealable like you just have your drop-off stuff up here and then you can have your other stuff down here you don't even need these you can replace these with like stairs or something um, oh, it's so cool so cool so definitely try this in a single player world and survival world it's super easy to put this stuff in and these the only really redstone part is this and this is such a simple mechanism you just have to worry about flipping it uh, for which direction you're facing super easy super simple I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something from this <laughs> uh, I think everyone should have these in their world once you get end game it's just so nice so fast so uh, thanks for watching I will see you next time um I was like, we're missing some diamonds, but they're actually here in my inventory. We're good. Uh, but, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Put a block here. We learned a lesson. Put a block here because the hoppers just spit everywhere without a care. There we go. That'll fix it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.